Hey, welcome back into NBC5. Look at the low pressure system moving into Oregon. That storm produced lots of thunderstorms across the state. Look at all the lightning strike activity. Most of this east of the Cascades. Remember, this is unfortunately where the severe extreme drought conditions are continuing. So there is a potential maybe for some of these lightning strikes to cause some wildfires. Also had a good setup of rain moving across the area. And now we're going to see a little bit of diminishing chances, unfortunately, as that system continues pushing out to the east. We're going to start to trend into some clearing conditions, more sunshine, and guess what? Warmer temperatures will return, but we had a cold front move through the area today, and that's going to bring some cooler temperatures for tomorrow. In fact, we're also going to be watching snow levels dropping overnight tonight to around 4,800 feet, and with that, we do have a winter weather advisory. This is in the Cascade Mountains up towards Crater and Diamond Lake, and this goes all the way till 11 a.m. on Sunday. Wind advisory in place east of the Cascades with the high wind warning along the coastline up into Coos and uh, coastal Douglas as well as up into northern Curry County. And those advisories go into the early morning hours. This is where we could see some of these wind gusts getting above 45 miles per hour. The high wind warning could see 50 to 60 mile per hour wind gusts. Now looking at pinpoint forecast, something you're seeing overnight tonight, really the Cascade Mountains into Douglas County getting slammed with the heavier amounts of precipitation. Again, Cascade Mountains will get some of that snow. Here in the valley, we have the uh, setup for showers continuing. Uh, some of the light showers also east of the Cascades. We're going to start to see Northern California kind of drying out. They still have a slight chance for some showers this into Sunday. I think a lot of the activity is going to be diminishing as we're getting into the early morning hours and then later in the afternoon, some spotty showers, mainly north of us going uh, north of the um, Qual divide and along the coastline. I still think we'll have some showers here in Jackson County. It's just going to be a little bit lower chance. Again, lowering chances as we're getting through Sunday and Monday. Still the possibility of some spotty showers out there, but overall that trend is going to start to get a little bit drier and drier. We'll see sunshine taking over the forecast on Tuesday. And talking in terms of amounts, you're seeing most of the area less than half of an inch expected. In fact, maybe only a few hundreds to a few tens versus the higher elevations going into the Cascade Mountains and in Douglas County. That's where they have that potential for higher rain amounts and again, higher snow amounts. Five to nine inches up towards Crater Lake as the snow levels again drop to around 4,800 feet. It's not only been the rain, the wind, the thunderstorms. It's also been some strong wind uh, across our area. That wind is going to continue here for the overnight hours up to around uh, 15 to 25 miles per hour east of the Cascades. You are seeing the valley wind speed starting to drop off a a little bit, but picking back up tomorrow, staying about that 15 to 20 mile per hour range. So a little bit of a breezy day for tomorrow. We'll see those wind speeds finally coming down on Monday. If you're along the coastline, upper 40s, lower 50s here overnight. Scattered showers to continue. 50s expected for highs tomorrow, so not too much of a warm up through the afternoon. West Valleys, thanks to that cold front, we're going to be just a little bit cooler. Highs expected to be in the 50s and dropping down into the 40s here tonight and again some showers especially all the way through Sunday morning that's where that better chance will be we are seeing some 30s east of the Cascades high temperatures in the 40s and lower 50s again not much of a warm up tomorrow but on Memorial Day we'll almost warm up 10 degrees we're looking at a high of 67 getting to the 80s again on Tuesday mid 80s on Wednesday and then we start to see a little bit of more cloud cover maybe some chances of rain as we're getting into the later half of next week. That's still something a little bit long range uh, to look out for, but we do see at least a slight chance maybe for some storms developing on uh, in the climate basin for Thursday. Might even stick around late Friday and late Saturday, and most of the activity for this event is going to be starting to diminish, but still some rain and of course that chance for some snow, but clearing out for Memorial Day and Northern California also seeing things clearing out pretty quickly. Still some spotty showers can't be ruled out, but more sunshine expected and the coastline. Some of the showers likely is to stick around through Monday, windier conditions and then things calming down and a slight warm up with those 60s in the middle half of the week.